a recommended design standard for the proposed indoor turf facility. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The recommendation will be presented to Thunder Bay City Council on Monday evening. After years of back and forth, the final report is in with a mandatory bid cap of $42.7 million. Josh Morano has been following the story. Josh, what are next steps if this moves forward? Well, Ryan, if City Council approves the next plan, staff will prepare a design build request for the facility. The proposal highlights that mandatory bid cap with the hope of showing city officials that the build can be done for less money, which in turn means the project finally gets approved. In the proposal, administration laid out three options for councillors regarding the price. Option one is estimated at over 41 million. Option two, closer to 48, while option three, which staff are recommending, sits at over 42.7. That's the energy efficiency model, cutting back on certain unnecessary components on the build. President of Soccer Northwest, Michael Veneziali, says the purpose of the new report is to show city councillors that in fact the facility can be built cheaper, but feels it is heading in the right direction. I am feeling very positive about it um, in saying that we've been very, very close to this before and it hasn't got across the finish line. So it, it, it is just part of the process and it is, it is a step in the right direction, but it's still just a step. When this goes to the developers and they get to come back with their own designs of what the facility will lay out like, what it will look like on the exterior, and they come back with that final dollar, then we'll know. Veneziali adds some of those discretionary items include an emergency generator, additional parking, and relocating the baseball diamond, which can be addressed later and would cost around a million dollars. McKellar Ward Councillor Brian Hamilton says the project would be welcomed by many in the community. The site has been selected finally um, and the scope of the project has uh, the parameters have been set by City Council so uh, what we're looking at is very much um, in line with the I think the 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 expectations of the community as well as City Council. Uh, this is a legacy project and ultimately it's it's here and uh, I anticipate it's going to get uh, passed. 5.5 million of the capped bids 42.7 million price tag will be allocated for preparing the site which is located next to the community auditorium. Josh Morano, TBT News.